Hey, fight fans, it's Ted Check. So this this match went uh, flew under my radar. Uh, this person uh, on the left here, uh, Gabby Garcia. We first saw Gabby Garcia years ago. Uh, first time I saw her, at least, became aware of her, was when she was, uh, I guess she was a uh, coaching assistant with Vanderlei Silva in the Ultimate Fighter uh, versus uh, Chael Sonnen's team. That's when we first saw her. And this guy's name is Craig Jones. They're apparently having an intergender, not a not a mixed martial arts fight, uh, a ju because Gabby Garcia has fought in MMA. No, they're having a jiu-jitsu match tonight in Las Vegas. Um, so let's see what happened here when they faced off. Set for oh. Man! Man, I'm out, really. A bitch, man! Craig, yeah. really? Man, I'm Fuck you, man. You cross the line. You cross the line. Cross the line. Cross the line. Cross the line. Sai daqui, porra! Para de me... Oh, and then she, then she hit the camera. I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it could be a work, right? It could definitely be a work because uh, just to hype up the fight. Last last minute hype for the fight. So the, the, uh, the fallout from this was that uh, Gabby Garcia said, the fight's off, the fight's off. He crossed the line, the fight, the fight is off, and then at some point after that, oh, no, 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 the, the, the fight's back on, the fight's back on, or the match is back on. They, and, and the other thing I was reading about, they've known each other for years. They've known each other for years, they correspond, uh, they've trained together, so, and, and the way that she chased him with the, eh, the little slap there, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, I tend to think it was all planned, um. So, so here we go uh, from Bloody Elbow. Fight is back on. Intergender super fight between Craig Jones and Gabby Garcia appears to be revived after too far controversial face-off. Now, in this, this, this is the part that I find interesting, too. Uh, they say he's, uh, Craig Jones is six foot, weighs about 200 pounds, and she's 6'2", 210 plus. Uh, she's been heavier than that in the past, I believe. She's been at least 220, uh, if not more. Um yeah, so, I, I don't know. I, I, I tend to think, uh, well, first of all, let, let, let's go back to that. So, 6'2", six, 6'0", six I, I don't know. This looks, she looks a lot taller than him in this photo. Uh, and then they try to play it up, you know, like this. She's got to be standing on some type of pedestal, you know. And, yeah, and, and here again, some, sometimes she's on some type of stage or dais or whatever. Um, again... You know what I mean? To, just to make it seem like, oh my God, she's this this huge. I mean, she is big, six foot two. Don't get me wrong. I think they're they're playing to that. Um, well, there's that. Let's just be honest. There's that fetish out there uh, that small men, and I'm not saying that he's small, but that smaller men, you know, like to have a, a larger woman beat up on them. They're, they're, believe it or not, there's that fetish out there apparently. Um, yeah. So when you look at this one, it looks more like, okay, that looks like two inches taller. So the whole thing, and then and they, no, they had a, they had an arm wrestling um, thing too, and I guess she won. Where did I see that? Um, oh, okay. So supposedly, supposedly she won during a press conference. That That's probably a work too. The whole thing's probably a work, you know? Um Maybe even down. Maybe they've even scripted the uh, the whole the whole match and how it's going to end. I don't know. But uh, you know this arm wrestling thing and the kiss, probably probably a work. Probably not a shoot, uh, as they say. Pro probably wasn't real. They probably planned the whole thing out. Um, I mean, after all, they're competing against the UFC. The UFC is on tonight um, in Australia. And so that that is tough. How, how you gonna, how you gonna compete with that, right? How you gonna compete? How you gonna compete with the UFC? Uh, so I think they're trying anything they can do to hype this up. I mean, we've we've had these types of things before, right? We've had inter intergender, we've had intergender MMA fights. We've had boxing, kickboxing, but we've had, we've had it full on MMA. Uh, typically, you know, with with the man winning, uh, a lot of times a, a more ex inexperienced man beating an experienced woman uh that's happened um i think it first started with a tennis match the first you know 
Battle of the Sexes, I think they called it. Um, I can't remember who was it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I just I just found it amusing. Uh, it's it's you know it's kind of like kind of like a pro wrestling thing, you know. That they're they're injecting a little bit of pro wrestling into uh, into the hype for this. Okay, now it's not going to play, but um, yeah. <laughs> At first, I thought it was real, but I'm like, wait a minute. Once, once I found out they, you know, they, they, they had this kind of this relationship. He's constantly calling her or, or texting her or whatever, and they've trained together before. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Uh, just want to let you know about that. <laughs> let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you later.